Today, on Every Burger in Vegas, we're eating at the Steak and Spud. Steak and Spud is out here off the strip in the small. They're very highly rated on Google Maps, so I wanted to come out and see how the burgers are, because this is every burger in Vegas, and our goal with the channel is to find these burger spots that nobody's talking about. I haven't seen any reviews of the Steak and Spud. I want to come see how the burgers are, so let's go have a bacon cheeseburger. Come on with me. This is every burger in Vegas. Can I get the bacon cheeseburger? Thank you. Off the bat, vibe in here is interesting. It's a food court in a mall in Las Vegas. They're the only restaurant open at 10 a.m. in the entire food court, which is very interesting. The mall technically opens at 11 a.m. So that means these guys are really trying. I love restaurants that try. That commitment to service, hopefully, will come through in the food. Is this a good date spot? No. Is this a good family experience breakfast restaurant place? No, it's like a mall food court. So you're gonna come here, after a long day of shopping. And so we're competing with other places like the Fashion Show Mall in Vegas, all those burger spots out there, Strip Burger, et cetera. So let's see how it compares to those. If this is delicious, I'm gonna tell you. If it's bad, I'm gonna tell you, because that's what we do on every burger in Vegas. Here's your mission for the week. Dan versus Worlds does such great content. And it would be really cool to grow the channel and collab with him and eat a burger with Dan versus World, and only you can make that happen. So here's what you gotta do. Go on over to Dan vs. World's YouTube channel, get on his most recent video, and leave this comment. Hey, when are you gonna eat a burger with every burger? And if enough people leave those comments, maybe we can get that collab going, and the next every burger video could be me, Dan vs. World, filmed by Terrence himself here in Las Vegas. By the way, Dan, if we eat together, the burgers are on me. <laughs> so go on over to Dan's channel, leave that comment, and when you return, We'll be eating a burger at Steak and Spud. Got it. Straight from who I assume was the owner. Good local, small Vegas business. And as much as I appreciate the hustle, as much as I love that this place is stacked with customers, you know, on every burger in Vegas, we don't mess around. If the burger's bad, I'll tell you it's bad. Now, let's dig in. Let's take a look at the bacon cheeseburger from Steak and Spud. Oh wow, look at that. The bun has a nice cross section on it. It looks custom, looks fresh. Meat quality looks like it's gonna be okay. I've got my ideas in mind over what this could be, but let's take a bite and let's see. There's one key component of this burger that's holding it back and I can't wait to tell you about it. But in order to give my full review, full rating, you know what we gotta do. Let's tear this baby apart. We're starting with the bun. It's fresh baked bread. Mm. The bun is so good. It is fresh baked like moments ago. Then you got the mayo, great mayo. You got the lettuce, beautifully sourced fresh lettuce. Oh my gosh, very amazing, great lettuce. Then you got the tomato, fresh clean tomato. The bacon, it's crispy, it's nice, it's high quality. Mm. Mm. Every layer so far has been amazing. The cheese itself. It's fire, it's good. Let's try the patty. And as we break into the burger patty, you can see it's um, a little gray. And it, just, it doesn't taste like it's the highest quality meat. It tastes like it might have fillers in it. It's very processed. And what's sad to me, or crazy to me, is that if this was a higher quality meat, just a little higher quality, this could have even been a 10 out of 10. Mm. But that burger meat is really ruining it, like to the point where if I took the burger meat out and just had lettuce, tomato, the mayo, the bacon, and the cheese, this would be a world-class sandwich. But they're cheaping out on the meat because the burger itself is like 12 bucks. They could afford some higher quality meat here or maybe even grind in house, some chuck or something. But because that meat is low quality, it takes away from the whole thing. And I'm gonna have to give this, I'm gonna have to give it a three out of 10. Mm. Now onto the final thoughts. Based on this burger, 
I would say all of their other food is great. I would just avoid the burger meat because the meat itself is a little too highly processed and a little too low quality. I don't know why they have burger meat like this. I don't know what they're doing. But if they fix that issue, then we're easily looking at a seven, eight, maybe even a nine burger. But it really comes down to the meat quality. And unfortunately, this burger just doesn't have it. So I'm gonna have to give steak and spuds and not recommend. But they have a path to a 10. And so maybe we'll come back in a year and they'll have improved their meat quality and everything else could be identical and we'll have a great burger here. But for now, that's what the rating is and that's what the recommendation is. Not recommend steak and spud here in Las Vegas. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to smash that like button to encourage this type of content on YouTube. Subscribe for more videos like this because we are eating every burger in Las Vegas and giving an honest review. Hop on the Patreon. It costs about a thousand bucks a month to keep this channel running. So if we can get that Patreon well over that, that'd be great. We could travel around, eat even higher quality burgers for you here. Grab that merch. I love to see every burger in Vegas merch out in the wild. So take pictures, send it to us. We love to feature it up on the channel. Big fan of that. Do your weekly mission, eat your burger, have a great time, and I will talk to you very soon. For every burger in Vegas, I'm Alex Berman. Have a burger. Mm. So much better as a BLT. Now, let's do the price. For one bacon cheeseburger, we're looking at $11.55, which after taxes and everything was $12.94. They didn't ask for a tip, so we didn't tip which makes this a fairly good deal. Next week on Every Burger in Vegas. He set the path that became celebrity chefdom.